So in this video we are going to be making a lava pendant. Let's go. Right, we are back. Excuse my voice, I'm just getting over COVID. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how to make this lava effect pendant. Now I'm gonna try this on a bigger scale as well at some point, a coaster. I've got lots of different ideas for this stuff. So this is crackle paint and I had to order mine from Spain. So be patient, you, you know, I've had to wait, but this is really good stuff. It's used again, similar to the frost paint, it's used mainly for decorating um, small, what are they called? Dungeons and Dragons stuff. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna be doing mine today with UV resin, but you can do this with two part if you're a bit more patient. So I only got mine today, so I've had a couple of test runs and it really is a good effect. So I'm gonna be using some, what am I gonna use? Some pigment pastes for mine. And I might add some glow powders, I'll see how I go. So to begin with, I'm just gonna add some UV resin to my mixing cup here. And we're going to go with a red pigment paste and a yellow. You could try mica powders. I can't see why they wouldn't work. You could colour this any way you like. So this is the Armour Art red pigment paste. And I'm just going to put a small amount on the end of my paintbrush. We don't want it too solid because the UV light does need to cure this. And then just thoroughly mix that in. We want a nice lava red and then we just pour that into our mold doesn't matter if you make a mess because we are going to be mixing it with some yellow as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks very much appreciated and to lots of new subscribers welcome to my channel so to this cup I'm just going to add some of my neon yellow this isn't opaque, it's quite translucent. And again, just mix that up. And then we just add that in with the red. And go over the top of the red as well, it won't matter. We are still going to stir this. So once that's in, we can then just mix things up a little bit and just cover the whole surface of the mould. Try and get it quite, you know, try and drag it around to, to make it so that it is rounded. And then you can just draw lines through wiggly lines like so if you want more yellow you can always add more yellow just draw it through and then we just give that a cure obviously if you're using two part then it would take a bit longer and you also want to make sure that you cure the underside of the mould as well just to make sure that it's, there's no leakage when you take it out it's starting to get dark here, so I might have to put my light on. So it comes with a ball bearing inside. It does say not to accelerate the the cracking of this paint by using heat. It does say two to four hours, but I didn't apply a very thick amount of this stuff. And it did dry um, within the hour. So we just shake it up. And then just what I did was I just dotted around the surface of the resin. What I did do, what I'd forgotten to do just now, was prime the surface <laughs> with PVA glue. I'm in such a rush. So I'm hoping this does bond and not lift off. So it's another experiment for me because I should have primed that surface with PVA glue. Just any normal PVA glue. Elmer's, whatever you've got. And then I just take my end of my paintbrush and just drag the paint around 
can just cover the surface. It doesn't have to be perfect because this stuff cracks. And now there is a similar product that I have got, that I have received, I haven't tested it yet. It's a crackle paste, which is readily available on Amazon. But I haven't tested that yet. I'll probably give that a try when I move on to the coasters. So I'm just dragging that around. Again, trying to get it quite rounded with the shape of the mold itself. And then we can create a little drifting island, maybe in the middle. That's what I did with the others. And once you're happy with that, we then just let that do its thing. Really, I'm hoping the PVA glue is not going to make much of a difference. We are going to find out. I'll see you shortly. So there you can see the crackle. And I don't think it's going to flake, which is quite lucky, really. So the thicker you do this, the, the bigger the cracks will be. So the other product that I was talking about, you, a lot of you probably already know about. It's called Golden Crackle Paste. Now I did have a quick try. It does crack, but again, I haven't tried it with a glazed coat of resin over the top. And it is white, so you'd probably be able to colour that, but it's up to you if you want to give that a, a try and a risk. Right, so I did say about adding glow powders, but I don't think I'm going to. It's got fairly good colour as it is. So now we just need to top coat this with some more UV resin. So do this in thin layers because they're gonna, there's going to be some bubbles in those gaps that you're going to need to work out and get them to the surface. So you can see, you just need to get in there and just work them up. Luckily that, that paint isn't lifting away from that resin, but I really should have primed it. And just work them all up to the surface so we can then get rid of them. So once you're happy with that thin coat, we're just going to give that a fast cure. So this part is optional. If you don't want to do this part, you can just continue layering. This would be a lot better with two part. You see those crackles really, really nicely. So I'm just applying another thin coat and then I'm going to add some smoke detail. So all I'm using for this smoke detail is the Let's Resin Black Liquid Dye that comes in the liquid dye set. I've just put a small amount in this mixing cup here and the reason why I did this to begin with was because I was trying to hide bubbles. So I've just dipped my dotting tool in there and I'm just going to swirl the, the black in and just try and hide any bubbles that are hidden in those cracks. And also to try and just give a bit more depth to the piece. I'm just stirring that in just to create a smoky effect. And you can just go around the whole border and just gives it a nice finish. So I'm going to carry on doing mine. And I'll see you in a moment. So there we have our smoked effect. And we can just, again, just give that a cure. If you can see that properly. And it is really important that we give that another coat if you do go ahead with that black smoke. Just to seal it in and it, it will ripple the surface of the resin when it's curing. I am going to go in with more on my second layer just to darken up these borders and to give it a bit more depth. And then I'm just going to top it up until it's ready to demold. I think one more layer and this is ready to go. So whilst my last layer is curing, I think the, the PVA, the glue, 
the primer layer that I put on before the crackle paint definitely helped the cracks widen a bit more. And this one was on a, a I started off with a black base and then built up. So just play around with it. I mean, it's worth the wait to get this stuff, guys. I know it would be a lot easier if we could get it on Prime and get it delivered tomorrow, but sometimes we just have to wait until these products become readily available. But I will practice with the, the golden crackle paste and just see how that turns out. And there we have it. All I need to do is dome this just to finish it off. But it really is a cool effect. And you could use this for dragon scales, all sorts of different ideas. I don't see why you couldn't apply this inside the mold. So you could do like cracked pyramids with lights inside. You could do all sorts of things. But I thought I'd share, share it with you because I've only played about of it today, like I said, and I just, I really wanted to show you how cool this stuff is. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and if you haven't subbed, hit the button for me, and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.